നവംബർ എയ്റ്റീൻത്ത് മൺഡേ ലൂക്ക് എയ്റ്റീൻ തേർട്ടി ഫൈവ് ടു ഫോർട്ടി ത്രീ ദി അതർ ഡേ ഐ വെൻറ്റ് ടു സി മൈ ഡോക്ടർ ആൻഡ് ദ പേഴ്സൺ at the reception asked me one simple question with a smile on her face good morning how can i help you today it was easy for me to answer this question because i went there with a specific goal in mind I did not have to give it much thought. I didn't have to scratch my head trying to remember why I was there and what I needed help with. I was able to tell them exactly what I needed help with. In today's gospel we hear the story of jesus healing bartimaeus who was a blind man during those times people with the blindness were considered outcast and they often found themselves begging for living when bartimaeus heard jesus was in town he knew the son of god could heal him he had faith that jesus could give him his sight it is highly likely that bartimaeus has heard of all the miracles jesus was doing throughout the land of palestine remember Jesus reputation of being a healer or miracle worker preceded him Although there were some who tried to stop Bartimaeus from getting to Jesus he did not stop screaming his name He knew Jesus could help him and his tenacious faith was about to be rewarded Jesus asked him what do you want me to do for you it is hard for me to believe that Jesus did not know what Bartimaeus needed from him however i believe Jesus offered him an opportunity to express his faith which played a role in his healing process without hesitation or a shred of disbelief bartimaeus said lord i want to see jesus said to him receive your sight your faith has healed you if jesus were to ask you and me the same question today what do you want me to do for you would you be ready to answer this question what would you ask for would you have to think about it or would you have a list of demands ready to go what do it is we want god to do for us we can present it to him in prayer however we must have faith that god is able and trust his will in the process just like bartimaeus we need to be tenacious and intentional in our prayer life because there might be daily hindrances to keep us away from accessing the throne room of God's grace 
Jesus already knows our needs and the desires of our hearts. However, through prayer we can boldly and confidently tell Jesus what we want him to do for us and expect his will to be done in our lives. Wishing you a good day, Father Paul, CSSR from Kerala.